I love how this set doesn't have batteries. But my new bitch, like I'm Hefner. I take 10% I can't rap her. Because I'll check her. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a half drag, half boy, half butch, half man, fish and trade. Not trade, but just fish and man tutorial. I'm very, I was very inspired by season seven of RuPaul's Drag Race because I'm super obsessed with Drag Race. Um, and I remember that they did the half drag, half man challenge where they had to dance and things like that and they had to wear outfits. I don't have the outfit and I tried to do something with my hair to like give you that illusion. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below what you think of this look. Without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. First step to doing a half drag, half male tutorial is the fucking shave. Turn it back now. Bitch. He's gonna get all over my fucking shirt, I swear to the fucking god. Okay, bitch. So, this side, I'm really not gonna be doing a whole lot to my face. This is gonna take the most time. So, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my everyday just beginning of glam. So, I'm gonna do my eyebrows, my eyes, my foundation, my base, and everything. And then we'll go from there. I think I might just touch up, do a little bit of like powder just so I don't look so completely different but you know on a regular basis I'm not wearing anything so my brows are pretty feminine um, to begin I really like to go with a feminine shape my brow lady Leah she did my brows and I asked her to do a little bit more of an arch and give me a little bit more of a feminine shape so I'm gonna play on that and then I'll incorporate really blown out smoky drag slash full glam makeup Taking the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Honey, and I'm gonna carve on my brows. That's a bitchy, cunty brow, bitch. Oh, she's a woman right here. And a fucking man right here, bitch. I can't even pretend to be butch, I literally can't. Hey, kitty girl, it's your world. When you walk the streets up into the beat, hey kitty girl, if you feel You guys are wondering where I got this idea. I drew inspiration from season seven of Drag Race. I texted my friend, I'm like, what should I film? And he's like, well, what's interesting you? And I'm like, other than makeup, my life is a depressing piece of shit. But the only thing that excites me now is Drag Race. So I thought, what could I do? Um, I knew that I was not talented enough to cover brows. So doing an, a makeup look inspired by a queen was out of the question. So I'm like, let me just think. I really wanted to do something that was a little bit other than just a makeup tutorial. So I then was looking and then I remembered season seven, they did the half drag half man challenge on the runway. Well, I'm like, let me just try this. And I love the juxtaposition of this because in a way, it's really encompassing of me. I'm very glam, very fishy in my opinion um, on camera, but I look like this, wait. I look like this on a regular day-to-day -day basis. I don't do makeup every day. I do makeup honestly when I'm filming a video and just natural beat sometimes when I'm feeling up for it. 
but I love the art of transformation and the art of makeup. And be being gender fluid, it just allows me to express myself in a way that I think is really important to me. So while that concealer is a little bit sticky, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Morphe 35B palette and I'm gonna dip into, gonna dip into this pinky shade and this orangey shade in that palette. Very much inspired by Miss Fame when it comes to makeup. Let me know down below if you guys are watching season 10 of Drag Race. And if so, who are the queens that you're rooting for? I'm very much a Miss Cracker and Monet Exchange stan. I love Miss Cracker's aesthetic. I love her humor. Um, I watched Review with a Jew, which is her um, little reaction review video to Drag Race. She was doing it all for all the All Stars episodes. And now I think she's gonna do it for her season as well, season 10. And I'm also a huge, huge Monet Exchange fan. I love her political activism that she does. I love how unapologetically back, as she coins it, she is. I love how she's a woke queen. I love her humor. She's gorgeous in and out of drag. I'm very much inspired by the drag realm and the drag scene. And I've also noticed from doing makeup on other people that I do not retain pigment or my skin doesn't retain pigment as well as I think it should. Some people like the shadow goes on and it goes on super ultra pigmented. I really have to build up my shadows to make them look somewhat pigmented and somewhat there. So that's why like sometimes in some of my eye looks, it looks a little bit washed out. And it's because like, one, it doesn't retain enough pigment to begin with. And then when it retains pigment, it doesn't always stick. So I'm always on the hunt for something that's going to make my shadow stand out a little bit more. Taking a smaller brush, this is the Zoeva 2, 3, 4. I'm gonna dip into a reddened shade, mixing that in with the more vibrant orange in the palette. And I'm gonna pack that right over here. And, I'm, and when I say pack, I mean pack. Cause I want to concentrate pigment in an area. I'll just look very vibrant, very bold, very in your face, very drag. She's a peachy lady, she's a peachy lady. This isn't gonna be shown so vibrant and so bright because I really wanna add depth and drama and dimension, but it's all about building and adding on, building and adding on, building and adding on. That's another thing, on Drag Race, they have an hour to get ready. And then I'm already, at sometimes I think to myself, like, should I ever try drag? Because I don't consider what I do drag, and that's not like a dig. Literally, I'm not as talented as a drag queen. Because if you think about it, I film these videos, and I do my makeup, and I put on a wig, I throw on whatever I have on, like this fucking sweater, and I don't pad, I don't do anything like that. These girls have to pad, they have to get ready, they have to put on heels, and they have to go perform. Like, what? Like, that's dedication, and that's hard work, okay? I'm just not ready for that. Another thing, they have one hour, like if you're gone drag race, you have one hour to get into full drag. And then I just think to myself, like, how? I'm at 16 minutes right now doing one eye. So I'm gonna hop into the Soft Glam palette. I'm gonna take a card that I had in my wallet and it's a fucking Sarku card because I'm a fat bitch. And I'm gonna kinda use it as a liner. Take it right here. I see all the fucking drag queens do it. I'm gonna take black. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm not what I wanted at all. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I can work with this, I can work with this. Okay, hold on. So that just added like a shadowing, I guess you could call it. Well, my, I guess you can call it that's what the fuck it has a shadowing. Wait, I think I just did something there. We're making moves, bitch. 
We're making fucking moves here. So now it's time to cut this crease. Camera wasn't recording when I was trying to add the pink to my crease. I just added a pink shadow from that palette and then I realized it wasn't as pigmented as I wanted it. So now I'm just taking the OCC Supernova glitter and I'm just packing that all over my lid to add some dimension. Glitter truly makes everything better. Honestly, truly. Aha! Okay, bitch. Okay, bitch. Thank you for saving my ass. Because we're gonna be using a really, really dramatic drag lash. We need to hide that lash band. So I'm gonna do a tiny line. I'm gonna pop my lashes off of camera, clean up this um, under eye, and I'll be right back. So when I had him put the lashes on, I went in with the Kim Tai Lionhearted Lashes by Cake Face Beauty. They're the most dramatic, draggy lash that I had. You honestly can't even tell them because his eye makeup is so dramatic, but they're there. So for skin, I'm going to moisturize first so I don't look like a fucking lizard. With scaly gross skin. I'm going to go in with the Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer. This is by Tatcha. I've been using it on the regular. It's really bougie and expensive. This is what it looks like. But it is literally Photoshop in a bottle. And if you don't believe me, go to your local Sephora that carries Tatcha and try it for yourself. You literally, it comes with this little um, applicator and that little applicator has a little like ding, if you can see right there. And you scrape it, it comes in this little thing right here. You scrape it. And then that's how much you need. Just like a little bit. I've used this about like 10 times now and I've barely hit it. So considering it is $52, you get 0.7 ounces, but 0.7 ounces goes a long way if you think about it. That's a pretty deep compact. So I'm gonna go with the Jouer foundation and mix it in with this Maybelline Super Stay, like kind of take these and make a little cocktail. I'm in the shade Almond um, for the Jouer and Shade 130 Buff Beige for the Maybelline. Go in. I'm gonna buff that in with the Y6 by Morphe. Hello, Clover. See? <laughs> Coverage. That's what I mean. Um, you don't even need to find the color correct. Hello, mask. How are you? The fucking ears. I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the shade Y5. 3-5 to contour as always. I'm going to set my under eyes and for that I'm going to take a loose powder puff. Make sure that I'm not creasing and if I am, blend that crease out. Now I'm going to bake. Finish my highlighter and my under eye and just basically my whole face off camera, so I apologize. Um, let me do my lip. Taking Kylie Ginger Lip Liner. And that is the final look. I literally tried to give you something here. I literally cut this wig in half. It's fucking shedding. I cut it down the middle, like, so there's like literally tracks just falling off. I'm dedicated to my craft. The difference is so real. And just remember, I love myself either way. I love myself with the full face, wigs and everything. I love myself just plain every day, you know? My skin doesn't look the best in HD, but it's fine, love yourself, that's all that matters. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment down below what you thought, any questions that you may have, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye, love you guys.